Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 32. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, we're now on the manufacturer races. Club della Scuderia Ferrari. This allows us to take any Ferraris. We've obviously got the F430. We've upgraded it to hell. We're going around Suzuka International, Sebring, Laguna Seca, and then finishing off with Mugello. Let's go. All right, here we go. Oh. That's a beautiful sound that this Ferrari is making. Okay, so somehow I've got to try and beat a racing Ferrari. Uh, something tells me that's not going to happen very easily, and I'm going to have to upgrade this car after this race. Bloody hell, this Ferrari's unstable. Like my mental health. Get out of the way! Bloody hell, this is going to be tough. I'm not going to lie, I did not expect it to be this difficult to uh, actually get a Ferrari to go around a track. Okay, Ben, what is up? Long time no see. How you been, man? Oh, this Ferrari is so unstable. Fuck, you know. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Ah, uh, he's going really well. Except for right now, I'm currently trying to fight off a really fast Ferrari that's faster than it should be. By a lot. Oh. What? Tell me that I hit the ground. I might do some uh, weight saving. See if that helps. Makes the car a little more stable in the corners. Because this thing seems to be quite heavy. Why are pigs bad drivers? They hog the road. Fair enough. That makes sense. Oh, fucking hell. Woo! This is really easy to lose control of. Need something more stable. Welcome to Horizon Radio. Welcome to Hospital Records Radio. <laughs> Make you need to see the therapist. You are not a Ferrari. <laughs> oh yeah, because the uh, was it a RX7, right? Blah, 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 blah. I think that was the original meme, right? Chicken sedans. Well, no, because it's not. 
a two-door car is not called a coupe. So, it's called a coupe. You don't call it a chicken coupe. Fucking Americans call it a coupe. There's an E at the end of it, which is normally pronounced the end of the word. Otherwise, if it was pronounced by like that, why doesn't poop have an E at the end of it? Yeah, Porsche. Well, no. Porsche is pronounced Porsche. The Americans say Porsche because they just disregard the E. But obviously, the coupe was pretty much invented by the Germans. Or made popular by the Germans. That is one of the most disgusting jokes you've ever made, Aaron. Oh, thank you for the posture check. Fuck! That posture check has ruined my race. Maybe. Not quite. We could still get, get away with that. I'm going to have to add some weight saving measures only because this car is just so unstable. I need something to make it more stable. Because at the moment it's just understeering like crazy. And then when I'm trying to correct it, it then starts drifting. I forgot Silverstone's got a new logo over the past few years. Means I'm going to have to go back there and get a different keychain now. Because my keychain that I have is out of date. He's got the wrong logo on. That's actually a pretty valid excuse <laughs> to go back to Silverstone. My keychain that I had is out of date, so I need a new one. What do you mean that was disgusting? It's just horrendous. When I drove past her. No. It was ridiculous. This is not metric. Metric doesn't make trap beats like this. Ah, uh, the fact is I gotta listen to this shit. There's like some B-Tech rapper who's like... This is why I, what I don't like about music apps is that anyone can have the same name and it will just instantly get tied with that name and you end up with like crappy rappers mixed in with your drum and bass or something like that. Your really shitty SoundCloud rappers. Like, fucking stay on SoundCloud. Don't come on... Decent apps. I don't know. It's just some really shitty rapper who's decided to copy the name of another artist and then release it on the same page as his.
Yeah, exactly. It's utter shit. I've skipped it now, though. It's fine. There we go. Not bad. There's new Lamborghinis for sale. Woohoo! All right, here we go. Trying it again. I forgot to upgrade my car. So I'm going to be struggling again. Woohoo! Man's loves to struggle, in it. Oi! Yeah, 50 just pushed me off. Ha ha! Get fucked, mate. Fucking asshole trying to spin me out. <laughs> the rapper from Wish. They're on sale. Like, imagine a rapper being so bad that even Wish had to discount them to try and get them sold. <laughs> That's brilliant. I've got upgraded race brakes, and they are as good as that F50. I find that extremely hard to believe. That Ferrari F30 stock has worse brakes than an F50. How does an F430 have worse brakes? That makes no sense. Not bad. Doing all right? Get out or I shall give you the boot. Unbelievable. Uh, apologies if I'm not focusing on chat as much at the moment. It's uh, extremely difficult to actually drive. And focus on chat. Especially with a car that's unstable like this. But I think I had multiple occasions when I was doing uh, Motorsport 1 where I had to do that anyways. So it's not like it's a new occurrence all of a sudden. <laughs> Sebring! Oh. We are a little bit slower, but we're two seconds ahead of the second place car. Which I'm hoping for the is the F50, so we've got a little bit of a chance. Because that other car is extremely fast on the straights, but really slow on the corners. The F50 is quicker on the corners. It's, it's weird. The F50 is faster than us on the corners, but slower on the straights than us. And that car behind is much faster than us on the straights but slower than us in the corners. And obviously those two will then be battling each other because of that behind, so. Auto Quest, really cool cars. <laughs> what a fucking advert, that's brilliant. Oh, 
Oh, we were a little bit late there. Got away with that. Just about. Car is a little bit wibbly wobbly though, I will admit. You are electric. Oh shit. Alright, back on track. Not bad. <laughs> really cool cars. All the cars we sell are really cool. Parallel. I would love to go on a track day experience. That would be awesome. bad. Final lap. There is a Ferrari actually up ahead of us. Bloody hell, this thing's been... Slough! Woo! I think our final lap was our fastest lap. close 706 was the last one 651 yeah we only just beat it bloody hell all right two more races all right here we go laguna seca that's such a bad one though aaron why are cars so cheeky because they're a fuel of it
Unbelievable. Holy crap. Yeet. All right, we've got the rest of this race to do and then the next race and then we're done for the stream today, chat. I got something in my eye and I'm trying to like find an opportunity to like itch it because it's really pissing me off. And newsflash, there isn't an opportunity for me to itch it. My god, it's so unstable. Remember, this corner actually is much tighter than you expect. And then this next one is tighter than you expect again, but in the other way. That's what she said. Cheers for that one, Aaron. <laughs> Cheers, mate. That's what she said. My God, if the office didn't become a thing and didn't make that popular. I'm hungry now. I might pop downstairs in a minute and heat up my dinner. I don't know. Nice. Drink a lot of water. That's a good idea. But I think I need food. Hungry mechanic CG. Agreed. Mechanic CG very hungry. Want food. Yum. <laughs> hungry Mac. Food now. Me want food now. But so.
bad. I'm actually surprised we managed to keep a gap, to be perfectly honest. Not too bad. Ferrari's doing a good job. Not bad. One more lap. Sounds like Rob Swire. Sounds a little bit like Rob Swire. Hmm. No, it's not him. But it sounds like him. Rob Swire is a legend for anyone who doesn't know who he is. He's basically like the lead singer of Pendulum the lead guy of Pendulum and the lead guy of Knife Party. Like, he's made some tunes in his lifetime. Not bad. I will take that. Thank you very much. I started recording this clip way too soon, so I've got to say something So I can't, because I can't be bothered to crop it. And I want to piece it together as quick as possible, so I'm saying random stuff until the game inevitably loads in Magello with a Ferrari. Let's go. <laughs> I pressed the button too soon. <laughs> oh, well. So uh, this might actually be a bit of a pain in the backside because that Ferrari, the black Ferrari, is going to overtake on the straights because it's so much faster. But for the rest of the track, that F50 is going to be going around those 90 degree corners very quick as well. Okay, the first one, sure. No, the first one makes no sense. And the second one definitely doesn't make sense, because you're just explaining what it is. A spoiler is an unwanted revealing comment about a movie. Like, it literally is that. And there's no play on words with it. Yeah, that black Ferrari's catching up big time. Me not like that, but oh well. Well, yes, there's spoilers on a car, but...
but there's no car related comment to link that Like, if it was something like, what happens if you ruin the plot of a car movie? It's spoilers. Something like that. That makes more sense. But just literally describing what a spoiler is, and then saying, spoilers? You may as well have searched up what the definition of spoiler was on Google. You would have gotten the same answer. <laughs> like, it makes no sense. Oh, bloody hell, this fries quick now. <laughs> That's a good one. Which car does sheep drive? Subaru. <laughs> Nick is not fun. I am fun. As long as it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense. Like, there's no comedy behind it. I couldn't even make that sentence fun if I tried. You've literally taken a... That's like trying to take a page out of the dictionary and saying, Ha! Look at that and try and make it funny. But you're not allowed to change any order of the words. Like... You know. Doesn't make sense. Four more laps. I have lost my keys. <laughs> that's not a bad one. That's a that's a good one. I like that one. I'd spot the best mechanic, the brightest bulb. No? Maybe? Yo, Mitsubishi fan, what up? How you doing? Hopefully you're having a good day. Playing Forza Motorsport 6 on my brother's Xbox One. A hey, nice one. I'm playing uh, Forza Motorsport 2 on my Xbox 360. <laughs> oh, I bloody love this game. Honestly, this is quite possibly... I'm going to have to make, like, an order of where I would place all of the Forza games based off of how much I've enjoyed them, because I'm going to be playing through them all again. So I can accurately judge which one I enjoy more. So I'm playing Falls of Ball 3 on Xbox 360. Hey, awesome. Yeah, we're halfway through this game now. So once we're done with this, which I believe would probably be in about three weeks' time. Um we can begin to think about moving on to Motorsport 3. Which I should be starting recording Motorsport 3 about mid-August.
Not bad. My girl looks so good. Final lap. The lights go out. Not bad. Yeah, Falls is quite an addictive game, to be honest. I'm proper addicted to uh, Motorsport 2. Like, pretty much all of them. Not bad. Across the line. I'll take my rewards. Take the result. And be done. Woohoo! 18,000. Not bad. Can I get my stuff? Please. Can I get my stuff? Can I get my stuff? Please. Can I get my stuff? Can I get my stuff? Please. Can I get my stuff? Can I get my stuff? Please. We got that Ferrari and it looks amazing. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.